Thanks for joining us. A big development in the Kim Potter case. Today, Minnesota's Attorney General Keith Ellison announced he will lead the prosecution against the former Brooklyn Center police officer charged in the shooting death of Dante Wright. So why did this happen and how could it impact Potter's upcoming trial? Our Lou Ragusa is in the newsroom to explain. Hi, Lou. Hi, Rena. Yeah, this whole prosecutor switcheroo is a little confusing. Attorney General Ellison takes over the case from Washington County Attorney Pete Orpit, and Orpit got the case in the first place instead of Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman because of an agreement that the counties have when officers are charged in homicide cases. But this latest change comes after a lot of political pressure. Protesters didn't want Orpit to prosecute the case, mainly because they think he should add a more serious charge of third-degree murder. And when they protested outside his house, Orpit told them that charge doesn't fit and he won't do it. So that's the biggest question and the thing to watch for now. Will Attorney General Ellison elevate the charges in any way? In a statement, Ellison said in part, I did not seek this prosecution and do not accept it lightly. I have had and continue to have confidence in both County Attorney Orpit and County Attorney Mike Freeman, how they've handled this case to date. And then he goes on to say, I promise the Wright family and all Minnesotans that I will handle this prosecution responsibly and consistent with the law, and that I'll be guided by the values of accountability and transparency. I reached Potter's attorney, Earl Gray, who said he has no comment and has no control over who prosecutes the case. Orpit would not answer questions today concerning the pressure to add an additional charge to the case. Rena. All right, definitely one we'll have to watch out for. Mm. Thank you, Lou.